New Empire's trailer has given us our first look at Godzilla Evo, and he looks… different? I actually really like it. It seems to be homaging Godzilla 2000, which is one of my favourite Goji films, so that makes me well happy. But the design hasn't gone over super well in the community. Plenty have stated their dismay that this will be the way Godzilla looks from now on. We actually recently spoke about how Monarch Legacy of Monsters is hinting at how Godzilla evolves using nuclear energy. But we couldn't show you the leaked figures for the new Empire that showed us the King of the Monsters' new form. But now the trailer's finally released, we can get a closer look at this new design, and whether this will be Godzilla's most powerful form ever. So let's take a look. Be sure to subscribe and stomp the notification button to not miss out on all the Godzilla and Kong news. For those that were patrolling the internet in the weeks prior to the trailer's release, you might have seen these. And they were not good first impressions. And we even have some footage courtesy of Ned Chang, where we can see Godzilla with a light, almost blue skin color, with a brown armored chest, red dorsal plates, and most notably, that snatched waist. Now, when I first saw this, I was like, oh my god, what have you done to him? Because personally, I really like the chubby, more like bulky, hippopotamus-like muscular Godzilla that we saw in 2014. That felt like something that would really exist at the bottom of the ocean. It was anatomically the most realistic Godzilla has ever looked. And then in King of the Monsters, they changed it a little, and I liked it a little bit less. I preferred those jagged dorsal plates and the more sauropod-like feet, but overall, it still looked like legendary Godzilla. But now going to this, it's super different. And really, it boils down to that waist. Where are his organs? In the previous designs, it looked like he was muscular and built, where if he was punched in the stomach, he wouldn't be able to feel anything. But now it looks like his waist wouldn't be able to hold up the top half of his body. And look how large his arms are. They've practically given it human proportions. But I'd have to say it's saving grace would have been those red dorsal plates. Obviously, Godzilla's been red in the past, so we thought this was a nice homage to burning Godzilla with his red spiral ray. And I actually really liked how sharp and jagged his dorsal plates looked. It actually reminds me more of a combination of Godzilla 2000 and the 2014 design's dorsal plates. So obviously that gets a big thumbs up from me. So of course I was glad to see that they're going for a more angular design here. But because it's a Playmates figure, the proportions aren't going to be super accurate. They're on the side of the cheap MonsterVerse figure range, so they're not going to be the best looking. So we gave it the benefit of the doubt and waited for official images. But how does it translate to film? Well, I can thankfully say it looks a lot better. We first saw it through this merch design from Legendary's website, and his proportions look far more menacing. I really like his skin color, it's a lot more darker, which contrasts to his lighter dorsal plates. I really like the head design, I'm really digging the more sharp and spiky look they're going for. He looks a lot less huggable now. I don't want to hear anyone complaining that he's fat anymore, because if anything, he's malnourished. But the actual waist looks a lot better here. He's a lot more hunched over, so it kind of feels like they're actually acknowledging that he is top heavy, but it kind of gives the impression that he's more of a bull now. So we've definitely got to get shots where he just charges into the enemy. Since this is meant to be like an all new powerful form for Godzilla, I'm a 100% sure we're going to get some new abilities here. One of which I'm predicting is an atomic tail whip. I say that because Godzilla now has a Thagomizer. Yes, like the Stegosaurus, which is kind of cool because since the 1954 original, scientists have said that Godzilla is like a combination between a T-Rex and a Stegosaurus. We can actually see on the Playmates figure that his dorsal plate split off to become sharp spikes in his tail, so I could absolutely see these glowing and becoming a deadly melee attack. Or who knows, maybe it'll be like Shin Godzilla and maybe he'll be able to shoot atomic breath from his tail. And talking about atomic breath, Obviously, the biggest thing that stands out here is that his dorsal plates aren't red. They're just full-on pink. Oh, should I say magenta? Now, personally, I don't really have an issue with this. I think it looks cool, and if we get a scene of him glowing in a dark cavern, I can imagine that being visually incredible. Adam Wingard is really diving into that neon kind of 80s aesthetic here. 
but I've seen a lot of people that do have issues with it. But you know, it is interesting because I think I would have personally preferred the red dorsal plates that we saw in the figures. You know, I think a lot more people would have actually, but I don't really have any issues with the way it looks in the actual film. Although some people have got really angry over the color because you know, red is cool and pink is for girls. Or at least that's what a lot of people have been saying, which is dumb. It's really dumb. It's Godzilla. Just because he's got slightly more pink dorsal plates doesn't mean he's turning into a woman. I think to me, maybe I really like the color because it looks like if Godzilla ate a needler, you know, the gun from Halo, it's got that same kind of color palette. And obviously you can get a better look at his dorsal plates here. And actually I like them even more. The overall sharpness of them looks like they could be a weapon on their own. Like I could imagine him just kind of jumping into the enemy, then turning his back to them, which might not be far from the truth considering that we actually see that Godzilla now has elbow spikes. Yeah, if you look closely, you can see he actually has protrusions coming out of his arm, which look exactly the same as his dorsal plates from his back. So that kind of hints that he's actually going to start using them as melee weapons. So overall, I think he's a really good design, and I'm definitely going to be picking up the SH Monster Arts figure of this. Although I will say my least favorite attributes of it have to be the really long arms and the kind of skinny legs. It kind of feels like he's got the same physical form as Kong now, where he's got big muscly arms and not as muscly legs. Those were like his biggest features in the previous films, having huge heavy legs, but not really having the best arms for melee combat. That was like his thing. So I don't really know how they're going to make them stand out from one another. But it's one of those things where we have to wait for more footage to see how he really behaves in combat. All we can tell so far is that he's going to be the most vicious and brutal Godzilla has ever been. Now, of course, we know this purple energy that we see coursing through the Hollow Earth will be what Godzilla absorbs to evolve into this new, more powerful form, which tells us this is likely some super powerful radiation that's found deep underground, perhaps something even the Scar King wants. We see Gia even doing something with the energy that has almost taken a physical form, something she can actually touch. This could possibly be her calling to Godzilla for help, which in turn wakes him up ready for battle. But obviously, like I said before, not everyone agrees with my opinion that this is a good design. So let's take a look at what some of you guys have to say. Remember, if you want to get involved with the discussions, follow us over on Twitter at Dangerville Team. I ask you residents, what do you think of Godzilla's new design? Will you miss the old one? Mary Krampus says, love it as much as 2014 and 2019 and 2021. And yes, gonna miss the old looks and the blue. But what the heck, this is new. Dominic Spaziri says, I honestly hate it, lol. But I think I need to see it in the film and see it naturally. Otherwise, I don't think any of the changes look good. Spines, thinner body, longer arms, and the elbow spikes, the bigger emphasis on him being a glow stick, I just think it's way overdone. Autistical says, The pink I will get used to. Same with his extra spikes. I just wish they didn't mess with his proportions. Monster vs. Goji just feels off without his bulkiness. Rural Liberal says, they shouldn't have slimmed in down that much. I don't love the shape of the spikes either. I prefer blue, but honestly, I knew they'd probably switch to a different color. Pink always looks really cool, but the build is unlikely to grow on me. And Kaiju Samurai says, I love it. I think it was time for a new updated design. The older one was getting kind of bland. Toho has been changing the design all the time, so I don't understand why some people are upset over this. As for the pink, I mean, we've seen it used in the Millennium design. So yeah, quite a few different opinions and not everyone necessarily agrees, but it's one of those things where I think we have to get a closer look at it before making a proper judgment. So yeah, whilst Godzilla has changed various times through its 70 year lifespan, this is by far the biggest change Legendary Godzilla has seen. But what do you think of it? Do you love it or hate it? Let us know in the comment section down below. And for more Godzilla Kong videos, subscribe and stomp the notification button to become a resident of Dangerville today. And be sure to give this video a big old Kong sized thumbs up. I've been Alistair, and we'll see you residents in the next one.